that's something about uh, that's something about being in a position to uh, reach people and sometimes my mind gets raffled like what I mean by raffled just like okay you know how people pay for a dollar and they get a ticket and whoever gets the ticket pulled wins half of the pot uh, one of them type of things and whenever I get a situation and the time that comes about and time that comes in agreement to other things, I, I find myself saying to myself that, uh, did I miss something today? Uh, did I say something that I wasn't supposed to say? And most importantly, did I miss out on something that God was trying to make me say? But I was too busy saying what I wanted to say. And uh, I've noticed I didn't fall off of youth normality but I can say that uh, me being in a position that I'm in and the transition and, you know, the progress and all that stuff, I've been put in a, in a unique situation where, like, uh, I could just say that my blessings are overwhelming. They are starting to accumulate to the place where I just need to take a breather of some time and say, you know, is this real? Is everything okay? Like, please, Wilson, don't start thinking about the ball dropping. And I'm sorry. It, it, I can't sit here and lie to y'all. I can't sit here and lie to y'all. Like, I am petrified. at some time but when I catch myself in that midst of anger and frustration and fear I catch myself and I tell myself this is supposed to happen to you you deserve this to happen to you not that you deserve God to do it but you deserve to be happy every individual deserves to be happy every human being deserves to be happy and if you put your life and you put God first Usually things will come out to where though, even if they are not absolutely the way that you want them to be, they will be better than it was without God. If you don't believe in God, that's fine. I say that because, like, I remember a time in my life when I said to myself, like, Every time something good was happening to me, I would always freak out. And I would always freak out and I would always say, yo, something bad has to happen. I'm not, listen, I pour my heart out to my people because I want my people to know that you're not alone so many times in my life. I felt alone. I'm the only one going through this. I'm the only one experiencing this. I can't tell no one. Someone's gonna think I'm crazy. This, that, and the third, blase, blase. I'm here to tell you, you are not crazy. You are not depressed. You are not insane. You are a person who is used to self-destructing. You weren't expecting that, was you? When things go good in your life, you say to yourself, hey, you know what? This is going to end anyway. I might as well destroy it. <laughs> and I know some people, and I had a person inbox me say, dude, you was crazy. I would never tell people the stuff you tell them. <laughs> That's why I've carved a living out of talking. <laughs> like it's, it's obvious. It, there are many people who would do what I do. <laughs> and that's what's wrong with the world. That I am doing what every village is supposed to do. 
an elder is supposed to teach the young people so when they grow up, they can teach the young people. So when they grow up, they can teach the young people and then you'll have a generational succession of wealth and prosperity. But when the old people die and it hasn't been transferred to the young people, then the young people have to figure out things on their own. And then that information and that wisdom gets weaker and weaker and weaker and weaker. Let me qualify myself. Okay, I'll do that, no problem. I've been engaged twice. in two years to I'm just talking about them not me or what they did to me nothing two beautiful great successful women I'm talking about like once in a lifetime women all of both of them ended from me self-destructing. You said, damn, you said that, dude? <laughs> you said that? Sometimes I, I can't lie. Sometimes I watch my videos and I'm like, dude, what are you thinking about? But it's the truth. It's the truth. Yes. And I'm not even talking about the part that they played then because that part is not important. Stop. Especially you men. You're young men that's in youth no matter. Stop worrying about other fucking people. Stop worrying about other people and what other people do wrong and how other people have harmed you and about other people because guess what? You play a part in them doing it and if you was where you were supposed to be at in life, no one would be able to hurt you because you would think so much of yourself you wouldn't allow people to even get close to it. You allow people to harm you because you are not in protection. You are not in defiance. You are not in a reality that you need to protect you because you are the most important person in the world. So every time you start thinking about what the next person did or what the other person did and what the person before that did, you set yourself up to do the same exact thing over and over again because you minimize them what you did based upon what they did. I don't care what they did. I did a horrible job of keeping something that was a blessing. And because of that, I'm single. Yes, yes. If any of y'all mothers is watching, which y'all, yes, this sexy young, attractive man is single. <laughs> because he is an idiot. I can't. I lose count of all the successful, beautiful women I've had in my life. I, I would lose count. If you knew, you would, you would probably think that I was crazy. It's that many. <laughs> and all of them had something in common and it caught me and I don't care about how long it took me to learn. I'm just glad that I learned so it won't happen again. These stories never started off bad or never looked it like they were going to be a guaranteed in. But as soon as things started to become too good, and you say to yourself, there's no way in the world something is too good. Yes. If you are not happy with yourself, if, you, if your self-esteem does not take you to a place where you say, I do not deserve for bad stuff to continue to happen to me. I am a child of God because of that one factor. I am a good person because of that one person. I follow basic instructions because of that one thing. I ain't supposed to be going through unnecessary nonsense. If you're not there, then Every time something good happens to you, you get to the point where you say, this is too good for me. And when you get to the point that you say, this is too good for me, you say to yourself something crazy. You say, I would rather crash my car than to get into an accident. So that I can say I was responsible for my car being crashed instead of saying someone crashed into me. You see the manipulation and the brainwashing that have you thinking totally backwards. 
You shouldn't want it to be someone else's fault and not your own. And you shouldn't take something that you consider to be a blessing or seen as a blessing and destroy it purposely because you are too afraid to walk in your blessing. Now, walking in your blessing is a whole nother chapter and a whole nother discussion in itself, but understand that's what you are not doing. Every time you pray and you pray and you pray and God gets to the point where your prayer has equal the debt that he asks you to participate in your blessing and he gives it to you here my child and you get it and you start to see it instead of you walking in your blessing you self-destruct stay tuned and uh, make sure that you look at walking in your blessings uh, just came to me but uh, like always know that I love you and I don't love you for a reason or something to get out of it or anything sexual or anything like that I, I, I love y'all because I'm a person of love and that's what we do no homo to the guys Number two, understand that when you wake up in the morning, you have a perfect opportunity to have a perfect day. And you have a perfect opportunity to have a perfect day. Not because you got paid or you met the woman in your life or you met that, that man in your life or you got the job that you wanted or you got paid. But the simple fact that you woke up because waking up is a blessing that's uncanny because without that blessing, nothing else is possible. And there's a whole lot of dead people who will take your place. Number three, last but not least, understand that if you are miserable, you are a participant in your misery. Because anybody who is aware of their misery and aware of the object or the thing or the person that is making them miserable and does not remove that thing from your life, you are now a participant in that misery because if you choose to remove the thing that which makes you miserable, your life would therefore not be miserable. It's the card book. You from Omali, thank you for giving me a, a cause and something to live for and something for my mother to smile for. And uh, as we grow, I promise y'all I will stay the same. Just bear with me because I'm a work in progress like y'all. Be careful one. <laughs>